Hello students, in this class, I'm going to derive the equation of a straight line in slope intercept form. That is y equals to mx plus c. Equation of a straight line in slope intercept form. Look here students. In this statement, there are two important terms, slope and intercept. First of all, let's define these two terms. First, slope or gradient of a straight line. If a line makes an angle theta with the x-axis on the positive direction, then slope of the line, which is denoted by m, and this is equals to tan theta. Here appears a coordinate axis and a line is here. The line and the x-axis intersect at this point. We measure the inclination of a line right over here at the intersection of a line and the x-axis. In the positive direction, the angle is made and this is theta. So slope m is equals to tan theta. Here it is, m equals to tan theta. Also, we have derived the formula for the slope. When you know any two points, x2, y2, and x1, y1 on the line, then slope can be calculated by the formula y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Now let's define another term, intercept. Intercepts made by a line on the axis. Let AB be a straight line, which makes x-axis at A and y-axis at B, coordinate axis, a line AB. Let this line meets x-axis at A and y-axis at B here. Now let's define x-intercept. Consider the distance from origin to the intersection of the line and x-axis right over here. Distance from origin to the intersecting point with the x-axis from O to A, this distance. It is usually denoted by A the distance from origin to the point of intersection with x-axis. This one is usually denoted by A and this is x-intercept. x-intercept measured to the right of the origin is positive and left to the origin is negative. Here in the figure, x-intercept is OA, which is equals to A. Now let's define y-intercept. Consider the distance from origin to the intersection of the line and y-axis. That is distance from this origin to the point of intersection with y-axis O to B. It is usually denoted by B or C. Here we have denoted it by B. Y-intercept measured above origin is positive and below origin is negative. Here in the figure, y-intercept equals to OB, and it is denoted by B. Now we are going to use these two definitions in our derivation. Derivation of a straight line in slope-intercept form. Equation of a straight line in slope-intercept form. That is, y equals to mx plus c. Consider a straight line. Coordinate axis here, and straight line is here. This line is intersecting x-axis at A, right over here at x-axis, and intersecting y-axis at B. Here, the line intersect y-axis at B. Here, y-intercept is OB, distance from origin to the B. Let us denote it by C. So y-intercept is OB, which is equals to C so that we get the coordinate of B. B equals to zero comma C. Let the inclination of the line with x-axis in positive direction be theta. Here we measure the inclination at the intersection of the line and the x-axis in the positive direction, theta is here. This is the inclination. Now by the definition of the slope, we have slope which is denoted by M and it is equals to tan theta. Let P, X, Y be any point on the line. Let's take right over here, P, X comma Y. 
Here in the figure, we know the coordinates of two points, that is B, 0, comma C, and P, X, comma Y. Also, we have derived the formula for the slope of a straight line passing through two points. That is, slope equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1, where x1, y1 and x2, y2 are the two points on the line. Here, let's consider b0, c as x1, y1 and b, x, y as x2, y2. Let's substitute its respective value in this formula. That is, slope is m here, y2 is y, and y1 is c. So, so in the numerator, there is y minus c, and in the denominator, x2 is x, and x1 is 0. Here we have, let's simplify it. x minus 0 is x. This x will go to the left-hand side to multiply it with m. So we have mx. And in the right-hand side, we have y minus c. Now, this c will go again to left-hand side here so that we will get in the left-hand side mx plus c. This minus will become plus. So we have mx plus c. And in the right-hand side, it is y. Hence, we get y equals to mx plus c, which is the required equation of the straight line in slope intercept form. Okay, students, this much for now. We'll be doing equation of straight lines in another form in our next video. Thank you and have a nice day.